Well, hello everyone and welcome back. So we have decided to redo our dining room and change it up with a new table. And we are doing some decluttering and breaking down from the holidays and sorting out Christmas presents. So come along as I try and sort out this table. Welcome back. So as you can see, it's a new year. It's going to be some new house cleaning, some fresh new ideas. I'm going to refresh and reset my life. That's my theme for the year. A refresh and a reset in every area of my life, starting with my home. That means several areas of my life and one of which is getting my house back in order. Now we live in a rental house. It is a company home. The um, home, you know, that I live in is fairly small rooms and very awkwardly laid out. There's nothing I can do about it. I cannot remodel. I cannot. So you make do with what you have. And whether you're in a rental or you own a home, you're not always at liberty to just remodel. You know, I watch some of these videos and they're like, Let, let's take down a wall. Well, you're not all in that position. And you know, with the recession or de whatever you want to call it, some people call it a depression. I don't know that it's a depression, but just with all the craziness of the prices going up and life has changed since 2020. Life is just different. Life is different from the way we knew it. And things aren't maybe as accessible or ch stores have changed and shopping has changed and your life has changed. And you know what? Time out. I need to give myself grace. I need to refresh and restart. So I'm starting by re-decluttering. Is that a word? Re-declutter? Decluttering once again. Just end of the season, end of the holiday. What can I do as I go through each room? I always get inspired in January to do a deep clean. So we're doing a deep clean, a deep clutter, and we're reorganizing every room in our house with organizational ideas, repurposing, Here's the thing, I'm a very functional person. You will walk in my kitchen and my canisters are on the counter. I know some of you are, <gasps> I will have pots and pans clean stacked on my stove. Here's the thing, when I come home from work, I don't wanna have to go in a cabinet and dig for a pot. I want it on this stove, I fill my pots with water, I cook my food, yada, yada, yada. I like a very functional, kitchen. My house is a studio in a sense because I'm always staging for the next video or prepping for the next event in ministry where I'm teaching. So I have constantly piles all over. This is for homeschool class. This is for the girls club I mentor. This is for the women's club I'm doing. This is for the craft night at our house. This is for, I used to do my own homeschooling. But, you know, or this is for things I'm giving away, or these are things that are going to Goodwill, or this is stuff that my mom could use. So there's always things in my house. I don't have a spare room. I don't have a spare closet. I hardly have any closets in my house. So my house is very open in the sense that what's happening in my life is pretty much staged around my house. You know what? My house is functional. I don't have a coat closet. So we have hooks over here, like a peg rack, and that's where we hang our coats. Does it look messy? Probably to some of you, it looks like a disaster. It works, we come in the door, we hang our coat. I have another little sort of coat rack that I hang my bag. Does it look neat and tidy? No, it doesn't, It's but it's functional. And I'm too old, I've decided. I'm old, I need functional. I work full time, I don't have time to be worried about the pristine home. But what I do want is an organized home, a decluttered home, and a clean house. The rest of it, if it's not your style of decorating and you come and visit me, whether it's on the camera or through the back door, I'm sorry. Enjoy a cup of coffee, some cookies, some fellowship, some friendship. That's what you're gonna get. I welcome you anytime in my home, whether it's on a video or if you're a friend and you come through the back door. I always say this, I've said this my entire married life, 36 years. The coffee pot is always on, but I might have to move a pile of things off the chair, but we can always fellowship and there's always time for friendship. And I know some people are, you know, want the perfect everything. My house is not perfect. 
I'm not perfect and my life isn't perfect. So if you want to refresh and restart, you're gonna be able to join me in some of the up and coming videos of some basic things that I'm doing. So I'm updating my planner. I have updated, this is my new backpack. I love it, my keys are here. Um, I'm going functional with my backpack. I have a new bag system, if you will, for a wallet, for a pocketbook, and for a backpack, for traveling to work or traveling anywhere. I have a new system, and the system has been with me now for about a month, and it's been working great. I'm in a new season. I'm reusing my planner in many different ways. New system, refresh and restart. I'm digging out some of my old devotional books. This is one of my favorites, Devotions from the Front Porch. There's devotions from a cabin, I think, devotions from the beach. But this one is Devotions from the Front Porch. I love this. It is so practical, ap applicable, and, oh, that was a tough word to say, and just everyday living the way I am. This I got a Cracker Barrel, but I know you can get them probably anywhere. Getting back into reading the books that I want to read. This is a book that, oh, let me think of her name. Andrea Mills, who has since passed away. Her husband still runs their channel, though. She recommended this book. I've had it for years. I've decided to get rid of all the books that I know I'm never going to read and only keep the ones I really want to read. And this is one of them. This is a devotional that one of my viewers sent me. I think the first year I had YouTube. And it's the Crafter's Devotional, 365 Days of Tips, Tricks, and Techniques for unlocked, Unlocking Your Creative Spirit. So not only am I doing a spiritual devotional, I'm doing an emotional devotional. And I call it an emotional devotional because it's getting my creative juices going again. It's making me think about crafts I want to do new stuff I want to try. I've got so many ideas out there. I can't even tell you. So I sat down today with this notebook. I have seven pages of notes. I sat down. I woke up with a headache. I think it's because of this dreary day and storm, snow storm we're supposed to get. I think in our area, we're only getting rain. And I decided I needed to take a notepad and I grabbed a pencil and jot some notes down of videos I want to do and just some basic thoughts of how to refresh and restart and reset my life. And I put it on paper. I help myself think when I write it down. So I sat down with my husband. I said, here's what I want to do. Here's the direction I want to go. We're not only decluttering, deep cleaning, redecorating. How am I redecorating? Most, I'd say 99% of it is things that I have in my house that I'm going to move from room to room and things like that. But I have a table I bought for $50, maybe 10 years ago, kitchen table, it's a wood table. It's a plain, simple wood table with wood benches, but I bought it from an Amish family I've to use it ever since, but we've entertained so much, I've needed a big dining room table. Well, since 2020, we haven't entertained. We've had a few people over, on a small scale, nothing like we used to. So I've decided that I want to try and bring it back up and set it up. And I'm redesigning, this is the dining room area. And back there, we are redesigning a home office. Um, what else would I say? A, a little space for Lynn. And you could see some stuff piled there that's going to Goodwill in the next couple of days. And also an area that anybody that, this is kind of at the back of the house. So if my husband or my son or myself need to have some quiet, like when I come home from work, I wanna just sit back here and stare at a wall or put on a, a, a show or read a devotional or read a book or have a quiet moment. This is the end of the house that's more quiet. Yeah. And really what I've learned to do is make do with what you have. When you have a small space, you have to be creative. Is it the perfect win-win? No. But I'll tell you one thing, it's actually working quite well for me. It's extremely functional, it's just the way we decorate. It's functional for me, it's working for me, and that's all I have to say. So if you are interested in anything I had to say, I hope you stick around. I hope you come join me. I've got a list. I really wanna encourage you, if you are in a spot in life where you're down, you're frustrated with 
how your house is decorated. Maybe you don't have money to decorate. Maybe, you know, you're in a rental and there's only so much you can do. Maybe you just have one room place that you're renting from somebody and you're like, I don't have space. I want to talk to you about how to set up a pantry, how to have a stockpile, how you can decorate on a budget. If you're, you know, you classify yourself as poor or poverty level, it's okay. You know what? It's not a crime. It's just where you are in life. Everything is a season and there's always hope for a better tomorrow. But what we can do today is to encourage ourselves to change things up a little bit and move things around a little bit and just have a, you know, a refresh and a restart and a reset in our life of what we want to do and how we want to do it. And what are some ideas that we can, I can look around and what can I do? Maybe it's just washing your windows. You know, sometimes I'm wiping the table and, and putting a few things away and you realize like, wow, my house does look pretty good. I've just let it go. So if you've let your physical self go, if you've let your life go in any way, we're going to refresh and we're going to reset our lives in a better way for 24. 2024 is going to be a good year. There's going to be bumps in the road. There's going to be a lot of hills to climb and mountains to get over, but we're going to do it. By the grace of God, we're going to find ways to do it. We're going to stick together. We're going to hang out together. We're going to drink coffee together. We're going to chat together. So that's how I'm going to end the video. We are going to refresh and restart in 24. Come join me. Let's see what's going to happen in this year.